Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing this eye look right here using my Tiny Marvels palette with Sydney Grace. As always, I will be listing this in my playlist, showing you guys all the different tutorials that I have done with this palette. But also, 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 this is getting restocked today at 9 a.m. PST, so in just a few hours. So if you have not been able to get your hands on this, it's restocking today, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And yes, there will be another restock. It's just as things are coming in, there's certain amounts that come in <laughs> and then another amount comes in. I do know that there will be at least one more restock, but I don't know anything past that and I don't know when. All I know is that today it is getting restocked. So if you have not been able to get your hands on it, make sure you are there on the Sydney Grace website. 9 a.m. PST. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this eye look. Wayne Goss number 18, and I'm going in with the shade Love Bug. Starting off by kind of just tapping this all over the lid. And as you can see, I already have the other eye done. I just kind of felt like mixing it up today, but I accidentally went ahead and put the Milk Boss liner on this eye and I never do the liner first. I'm sure I'm gonna have to touch that up because shadow and stuff will fall on it. But yeah, got a little mixed up with that. So I'm just taking this all over and then I'm going to start buffing upward. Obviously you guys can see that I'm going for a smoky eye today. A little bit more dramatic than the last purpley smoky eye I did. I think the next tutorial will be a green one. I'm just trying, trying to decide. Like, do I want to do all matte? Do I want like, it to be super soft with the green? I'm not sure yet but I think I'm going to focus on that matte green called Mantis. But anywho, back to this look. <laughs> I am just slowly taking it upward. This is one shade on the lid, blending it upward. It's one of my favorite things to do with pretty much any color that I love is to pack it on the lid and then blend upward. It's just like one of those things that Wham, bam, done, you're just out the door, and it just looks really great, and it makes your eyes look bigger. I also got my brace off, <laughs> and so this is so much easier. Not as easy if my hand was like, completely healed, but still, I am so grateful. Sit here and be blending, and just have a little bit more movement. Uh, it's just easier to move. Just so, so nice. I'm going in with that same shade and I'm taking that on a Bristles Beauty E05 PS, dragging it and pressing right along the lower lash line. Next up, I'm going in with my refer number 14 and Bugaboo. I'm going to start by stamping this on the outer corner bringing it into the crease. I just kind of want to smoke out, deepen up the outer corner, as well as the crease. Sticking with the same shade and going back in with the Bristles Beauty Pencil Brush, I'm going to stamp that shade right up against the lash line, a little closer than I did the last shade. Sigma E25, this is from the collaboration that Mary Glitzy Fritzy did with Sigma. I'm going to grab the shade Marvel and I'm going to pick up just a small amount and I'm going to highlight right at my brow arch. And I don't want to do this too heavily. 
grabbing web on a Bristles Beauty P06RF. I'm going to do a little bit of a spot highlight to brighten up just right underneath the brow arch. Refer number three in the shade Spider. I'm going to tap this right against my lash line and then kind of smudge it out. Lastly, I'm going to take my Bristles Beauty P06RF and I'm grabbing the shade Meadowhawk. I'm going to highlight the inner corner kind of a little bit on the inner portion of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go touch up my inner rim liner and add mascara. To finish off the face, I used Flutterby right here as my blush, and I worked web into the skin as my highlight. If you go in with this, it is bright. You can see it right here, how bright I have it on my brow arch. But if you work it into the skin, especially if you go underneath your blush with it, Mm, it is really, really beautiful. <laughs> of course, I would think that. <laughs> I might be a little biased. <laughs> now, on my lips, I went in with Wayne Goss's Lip Pencil in Vintage Pink, just around the edges and very lightly. And then I took this. I haven't used this in a while, and I thought it would be nice to wear it today. It is Blush Nude from Tom Ford. Mm, just want to put it back on. Ah. It just feels so nice. It's so nice. <laughs> Before I go, I just want to say thank you again and again and again and again and again for all the love and support with my Tiny Marvels palette with Sydney Grace. I just, it's so overwhelming, all the love. It, it's just, I can't thank you guys enough. I truly appreciate you guys. And in case you guys don't always see or stick after I say bye bye, <laughs> I do like to put different pictures that people have taken of the palette or looks that they have done. And I put them at the end of the video so that I can also kind of shout them out as well as say thank you for, you know, showing me the look. So if you haven't noticed that, check them out. All these people are on Instagram. And again, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.